You know, recently I was asked to do a review on the new Pampered Chef mandolin that they have out. Now I'm not big on reviews, but since my wife does sell Pampered Chef, I thought I would at least try it. And it, for those of you who follow me know that I've been doing some shorts on this thing, and this thing's pretty cool. But I did agree to use it for a cook, and today we're going to make stir fry the way I like it. All right, let's start. So as you can see, the unit has a guard here, right? And that's for your fingers. Plunger is just twist, boom, right? And there's your blade. You put this chute in the front and it just snaps into place. And this is how you feed this, your veggies in or whatever it is you're doing, right? Oh, and it has these, right? So it doesn't slide. In the back here, we have knobs for julienne, and just straight cut, like fry cut, and just regular round cut, and for sizes. So for this one, we're gonna go probably about halfway, and we're just gonna do the round cut. All right, let's start. Oh, before we get to that, it also has a loader. Just like that, and while you're going like this, your veggies are gonna fall down in the back. Let me show you. For our stir fry, we're gonna start with celery stalks. See how fast that is? Heck yeah, them good looking celery stalks. Let's check that out. All right, let's do it again. Cut, load into the hopper. Right on. I have more fruits that we're ready. We're gonna start with an orange bell pepper. See if we can get them both in there. Right on. Pretty thick slices. So let's do this. Let's change this up a little bit. And let's go over here to the julienne. And let's try a green bell pepper. See how much different that is? Love it. Let's try red bell pepper. Man, it just sliced through that. Check it out. Let's try a carrot. This ought to be a challenge. You know what? I'm going to take this carrot, cut it in half, I'll cut that back part off. I had to manhandle that one a little bit, but it sure worked. Take that carrot again, cut it, throw it back in. Let's do another one. Awesome. Let's take a zucchini. Check that out. Dig it. Let's do another one. Come on, dude. Oh, let's cut the top off this. Do another one, dude. Okay. I'm having too much fun with this. Man, this thing just slices cut through. And one half of a red onion. Excellent. We have ourselves in this catcher. Good mix of veggies. I'm going to add a little pineapple to it here in a bit, but let's start on our steak. For our steak, I've decided to go with some carne asada. You could use like flank steak, any, or actually any kind of steak you want, but I just happen to like carne asada for this, just because it's already super thin. And I'm not going to really bore you with how I cut this, but I will give you just kind of a brief example. That is, I just cut it in half and just start slicing away. All right, I'm gonna slice these up, and then we're gonna put them on that Cuisinart 360 griddle. All right, we've got our tongs. Kind of flatten that out a little bit, grab some salt, sprinkle it over the top. All we're using for the meat is salt. Over here on the Cuisinart, a little different story. Put some oil down. 
put these on. Now a good seasoned grill, you shouldn't really have to use a whole heck of a lot of oil for stuff. And I do try to keep this thing seasoned. I don't use it as much as say I would like to, but you get the hint. I think it's time to actually start putting our veggies on as well. Put a little more oil down. I love that sound. Now who doesn't, right? some big ones in there but that's okay I love to use wood when it comes to cast iron this is kind of what these things are designed for you know I get some rice on here man look at me yeah I'm having more fun than what should be allowed. Now, by the way, the grill is on low. It only has two burners, but it's all right. Low and slow in my book. It's all about low and slow. Throw a couple pineapples into the mix. Mix those in. Mmm. Boy, you can sure smell it already. That aroma. Awesome. Now, depending upon how you like your veggies, if you like them stiff, you know, they don't have to be on here very long. If you like them soft, leave them on longer. That's a personal call right there. Put the lid back on. Let these things cook for a few minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's take this off. Take a look at what we got. Ooh, yeah. Start mixing all this together. I think this is getting close to being done. I like mine a little crunchy. Perfect. I'm going to put some stir fry sauce or hoisin sauce on, but here's the deal with sauces in my opinion. Sauces complement, they shouldn't overpower. I was reading the recipe on this because this is a new one, I haven't tried this one. And they were saying, for what I got here, I should be using a cup. And I'm like, uh, no. I don't want that. Because I want to actually taste what I have. But the aroma that comes off with that hoisin sauce, that stir fry sauce, dang, it's good. All right, I'm gonna cut the heat, let this sit for a few more minutes, and I think it's time to plate it. I think it's time to give this one final look. Ooh, yeah, liking it, like it a lot. All right, let's plate it up. I think it's time to try this bad boy. Nice. What do you 
you think? I think it looks pretty damn good. Let's try it. You saw how we made it, now it's time to give it a try. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm glad I didn't use a lot of that hoisin sauce or stir fry sauce because it would have overpowered this. But what it does do is just complement like it needs to do the veggies and the meat. This is actually really good. Give it a try. Tell me how it goes. I'm going back to eating. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care, guys. Love you. Nothing is better than homemade stir fry. Take a look at this. We made it all ourselves and we used the Pampered Chef mandolin to do this. We cooked it on the Cuisinart 360. Let's do it.